What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got an update, guys, coming on the storm that has been brewing and raining down on Miss Fannie Willis, disc attorney down in Fulton County, Georgia. Now we have Trump seeking to disqualify Fannie Willis from pursuing that Trump case, prosecuting against him in Fulton County, Georgia, you guys. Um, and also a possibility, a high possibility for removal from office uh, for Miss Fannie Willis, guys, for her misconduct inside of her office, um, you know, the misuse of taxpayer funds, and not only that, but the persecution of Trump. And now we've got a new detail, guys. Her and the Biden administration have been linked. We've got her and Biden as little pen pals, and we're going to prove it in this next clip, guys. Decided to get into it, so we're going to get straight into the clip. I'm going to get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So definitely stick around until the end. So you guys can get my thoughts on the back end of the video, guys. And also, YouTube, push this video out. Definitely stick around until the end. But yeah, let's get straight into it, you guys. Before we do that, though, make sure you guys smash that like button, guys, and also smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all brand new fanny willis accusing accusing white people of racism all over georgia apparently she's throwing that card out like throwing stars hey if you guys like this kind of research i'm doing make sure you subscribe because i'll get the message loud and clear to do more of it thank you so much for watching we'll get to it here's some <laughs> video right now of a Fulton County board meeting where Fannie Willis had the audacity, audacity to ask for more money. Lots of public comment today about um, our district attorney. I know she's asking for roughly four to five million added to her budget. Fannie Willis is asking for four to five million dollars more. Four to five million added to her budget. What's wrong? Did you have like a, a trip to Greece or a trip to Hawaii that we didn't budget for her yet? She needs to get more of that money. Give me more of that pork. Here's the headlines from The Guardian. Trump is seeking to disqualify Fannie Willis from prosecuting him in Georgia, of course. Wise move. And then here's the Washington Post. Trump lawyers say Fannie Willis fomented racial bias in Georgia election case. What are they talking about? We're going to get to the specifics in just a minute. But we have even worse hot water she's in right now. We have proof that there was a correspondence between her and the White House, and now it's being brought up in court. Here's Julie Kelly's tweet. New, during a hearing today for Jeff Clark in Fannie Willis's RICO case, the DA office admitted to receiving two letters from the Biden White House counsel. So they talked. Judge wants both letters filed under seal for on-camera review in his chambers. Who knows what he's going to see? Here's some footage of that uh, court case back and forth with the judge. Uh, all right, Mr. Bernick. So let's start there. Um, again, we're traveling under Brady, and he's asking for evidence, and our communications with the White House Counsel's Office was about logistics and procedures, whether they had a TUI-type process in place. Um, it wasn't about any, obtaining any type of evidence from them. But this seems a bit different. We're not talking so much about the logistics of witnesses as to whether there is potentially any coordination or uh, a political motivation that might... Well, that's speculation. And it, it would be speculation right now because uh, I think he concedes he doesn't have access to your emails. And it, it would be unlikely unless he was sitting in the room or bugged it that he'd have any idea what was in there. But apparently he's got some documentation that a meeting did occur. I mean, yeah. Yeah. He, he assumed that a meeting occurred and then the lawyer goes, uh, yeah, yeah. Meaning, yes, it is wise to assume a meeting occurred. The original uh, question was, is there something actually in writing that shows communications between the office and the White House counsel? Uh, we did get a letter from the White House counsel's office. That's a yes? Between the uh, Fannie Willis's office and the White House counsel, that is the White House, where they said there has been no, they called all of Trump's guys conspiracy theorists and loopy, all of us, they're going, oh, there is no proof of any communication between the White House and Fulton County. And now we got it. Their own attorney just agreed. Yeah, there's communication too. All right, so. Logistics and procedures as stated before. 
All right. Uh, so it's just that you're saying the sole written communication, whether by text, whether by email, whether by written correspondence, solely consists of one written letter. Written, written letter, well, there's two written letters, John, um, about procedures, about how we interviewed, whether it was a two type process with former or current White House officials. Okay. <laughs> he goes, he goes, so uh, all of it comes down to one letter. Well, well, actually, it's two letters. <laughs> Fannie Willis's people. This is scummy. These people are lying. They're getting caught. Let's keep going because the dirt gets worse. The more we uncover and the more Fannie Willis is just confident bias of just going in and being able to have CNN and MSNBC and all these cameras cover for them and all these defenses. Well, now the more you dig and dig out actual truth and facts, the more you see they're all dirty and Trump did nothing wrong. Here's uh, Kanakoa the Great, new Fannie Willis accused of Fulton County Board Commissioner of being racist when she asked about Nathan Wade. So here's a County Board Commissioner doing her normal just research on something and Fannie Willis well, here's her. I'll let you listen to the testimony herself. Um, but as I've skimmed through it, um, the allegations are frightening. Everybody buckle up. Here we go. Potential of misallocation of county funds that were given to her in 2021, 2022, and this last year. Um, I believe we need some transparency as a commissioner. I asked for transparency. I asked her um, how much this election interference case was costing the county. The answer I got was that Lady Justice has no price. And I wasn't given any amounts. Yeah, that's the cost of going after Trump. Hey, spare no expense. That's it. And because he's black. And then the whole time, she's taking all the money. She and Nathan Wade are going on trips. She's enriching herself. So, yeah, get all this money in the name of even Trump hatred. Even if you hate Trump, aren't you mad that she's taking all the money and spending it on candy and pork chops and jewelry? And she's just having a ball on the water slide on a cruise ship. Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. Woo! Thirdly, when I asked her about the Nathan um, R. Wade expenditures in particular, um, I didn't get an answer. <laughs> I was told that I'm just picking on him because he's black. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, I didn't see that coming. And because he's black. That's Fatty Willis's favorite answer to everything. Can you imagine how many people she's told that to? And because he's black. You only have questions about Nathan Wade because he's black. Black people saved your political life in the primaries this year. They have things they want from you. You only didn't give me what I wanted because I'm black. And one of them is a black woman running me. Or a woman. You know, this is what victims sound like all friggin' day. It's never your fault. What I say to them is that I'm not acknowledging anybody who is being considered, but I guarantee you there are multiple black women being considered. The more these emails get revealed, you're going to see more and more of this talk because this is a pattern and a habit. Never get in a pattern or a habit of being a victim, guys, if it ever comes out in the public. You don't want to get caught doing what Fannie Willis did. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. Definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out, also for you guys to go over there and show our friend Doug some love. Things just keep getting deeper and deeper for Fannie Willis. That hole she's dug is almost too too tall to get out of at this point guys she just keeps finding herself and i told you it's it's storming on her at this point there will not stop being updates on fanny willis she is you know all of her dirt is going to keep coming to light you know whatever she's done in the dark is going to now come to light now we're getting you know communication between her and the biden white house i love the way her lawyer was just like had to give up all that information i love that judge that judge is he seems very you know uh very unbiased. I feel like he's your know, neutral party. Um, he's asking the right questions. Like, okay, was there any communication be between you know your 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 office or Fannie Willis's office and the Biden White House? 
of course, the lawyer can't lie up there on the stand. So he's like, yeah, there was, you know, there was an instance of that. And he's the judge even goes to clarify, like, well, how many times you this was the only one. Right. And then the lawyer is forced to say it again. Well, there was two times that we had, you know, communications. Fannie Willis is good and caught, guys. I think her days are just about numbered. Trump, you know, moving to disqualify her from prosecuting that case. You know, she has to be, you know, removed from his case just based off of how she is, you know, brought so much wealth to herself, to her pockets, her boyfriend's pockets based on this Trump case, you know, almost embezzling funds <clears throat> from the county, from the county taxpayers. That's just not the right thing to do, um, especially, you know, that just seems like a lot of you know, gross misconduct within her office. I'm not sure how she hasn't been, you know, considered for removal from office yet based off her actions, you know, just in this whole embezzlement that she's been uncovered in the last couple of weeks. Um, and we're getting a lot of, you know, hard, hard evidence. I feel like that, you know, could really pinpoint and, you know, connect Fannie Willis to the crime. We cannot continue to sit here and let Fannie Willis play this game that she is trying to play with us, guys. All these charades and this Tom Fult, we're not going to, we got to stop and look past that. And, you know, look at her, you know, face value. This lady, Fannie Willis, is, you know, scared for her life. She's frantic, panicking, doing whatever she can to weasel her way out of this because she just knows she's good and caught. She's caught red handed, guys. She's still got the money all in her hand. Um, and, you know, we're not going anywhere. People aren't, you know, turning their eyes. The media can't distract us or turn our attention elsewhere. Her Trump case is flipped up on top of the top of his head just because of her actions outside of, you know, um, you know, outside of work. She's misusing taxpayer funds going on lavish vacations with her boyfriend all over the country, all over the world. That's just not right, guys. We need to see some accountability here. That race card thing that she's been trying to play will not work. So I hope Fannie Willis has a solid defense ready for court because if she keeps continuing to try to go down this road and say that, you know, all this stuff's only happening because she's back, like what she did with the commissioner, that was totally out of line. Um, the commissioner asked, you know, very simple question, you know, how much money is this, you know, this case costing our, our, our county? Like, is this, you know, when do we when do we know what to give up? You know, how much money, how far are we willing to, you know, to give? Fanny looks like, we're going to take it all. What do you mean? We're going to take it all. And she's actually taking all the money, you know, and stuffing it into her and her boyfriend's pockets. That's not right at all, guys. And then when, you know, the commissioner asked about her boyfriend and, you know, the gross misconduct they've had with their, you know, frivolousness, um, she goes and says she's only asking about him because he's black. No, she's only asking about him because he's working 24 hours around the clock on the books, um, at, whereas, you know, other firms are not allowed. They're capped out. Only can work, what, eight to 10 hours? And your guys working 24 hours at a time on the books, guys, making over $650 million. Come on now. Something's not right. Something's right. Something stinks. Definitely hop in the comment section, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Miss Fannie Willis now caught in connection with the Biden administration. Trump said this was going to happen. He was right. He said this was going to happen. You know, definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this, you know. Very interesting, um, revealing discovery. Yo, also make sure you guys hit that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one. We go.